This is in response to Jim Hammond's comment that you can see on the screen at the moment. I'd have to agree with Jim. The fact is, things like the X Factor have done no favours for the world. Rupert Murdoch has done no favours. Um, he's turned news into a complete joke. And Sky TV is just rubbish. It's just corporate rubbish. It's just designed to make money and nothing else. It's not producing anything of value. Storage Wars and Ice Road Truckers nonsense on History Channel, for example. What is going on there? What has that got to do with history? This is why I agree with what Jim's saying, which is basically switch off the TV and go out, or don't buy a TV. I'm the same. I'm not interested in TV. I'd rather spend time talking with people. Okay, I spend a lot of time on the computer, but I'm always doing something. I'm not sitting there going, which is what the TV does. It sits there and sucks your brains out. It sucks it out. But also it doesn't encourage you to do anything. It encourages you to waste your time. It just drains the life out of you. Um, but it, as he goes on, he's mentioning about things like ADHD, with the, the junk food, the high sugars, high salt, etc. My diet as a child was predominantly chips. It was chips and sausage, chips and spam, chips and ham, chips and egg. Um, chips and chips. <laughs> it was a, a worse diet, or was it? Because that's the thing. I don't think it was, because there was nothing added in my food. The butter we bought wasn't manipulated or GM'd or anything else. It was butter. The milk I drank was milk. The sausages, everything else, was not 45% water. It was food. And this is where things have changed. And this is why he's on about with the Philippines. Um, it can be a lot better. It is a lot better, a lot healthier for people. Because the fact is, once you remove yourself from the garbage, then life can be much happier. Um, I know sitting here in Spain, I'm in a similar way. I'm much happier here. Because I don't have all the nonsense of the UK wrapped around me. Okay, I've still got a few bits of bureaucratic paperwork to do. But let's be honest, that's the same anywhere on the planet. But the difference with Spain is if we wanted to do a business or something, it's much easier to do here than it is the UK. And as I sent my wife earlier, um, if we bought, there's a there's an apartment that's just come available that needs a full gut and re uh, renovation. This um, I've got to get the go there and take some video footage of it. But the the fact is, I said to my wife, even if I rewired it, I could just do it here. You know, in the UK, oh, are you an electrician? Have you got your little part L and you got part P and you got this? Oh, you can't touch that. Even though I've done electrical systems for years, I haven't done domestics because I don't do domestics because I do the bigger stuff. So it's just nonsense. So I'm good enough to go and mess around with um, huge HVAC systems, but I'm not good enough to wire up a socket in my own house. The UK is a joke. And the Philippines is more in line with Spain where people pretty much do what they want most of the time. Okay, there's still guidelines, there's still policies, etc. If I was selling it, I probably had to do some of this, like the, um, this, uh, what do you call it, the energy rating survey. Another piece of junk, but it's something that you have to do when selling a property in Spain now. A lot of this stuff you have to do with selling, but they forget people like me, I just want to buy it, I just couldn't care less about the energy rating, I couldn't care less about the electrics or anything else, because I'll do it all myself, I'm not interested now in little bits of paper, just to say, oh look, I've spent 140 quid paying somebody to write a bit of paper for something I can do myself, um, so yeah, the Philippines gets rid of all that crap, and so yeah, I understand, also, what Jim's on about, we're going out a lot more and doing other stuff. Because you haven't got a TV in front of you, you go and do stuff. You go out, you go to the market, you, you get your fresh produce. In the Philippines, you get fresh stuff from the market all the time. You don't generally not go shopping. You, you shop quite regular. Um, I mean, I normally go to Casano or something at least once a day, just for an hour or something, just for something to do. A, it keeps you fit, but B, 
it's nice to get out of the house. Um, but in Spain, I've started a routine of cycling and taking the kids to school because we have that little trailer. I've got to do the video on that. Actually, I'll add that at some point. Um, but the the thing is, the kids sit in the back of the trailer, and I'll actually cycle them to school. And yeah, you know, well, I'm picking them up at lunchtime at the moment. I can't do it four times a day. It'll kill me. <laughs> but the the point being is, you get a better lifestyle. Could I do that in the UK with a 55 plus hour week and being over two, 300 miles away from home from a, with a company that doesn't even recognize that you're away from home permanently? Um, the answer is no. Um, this is why I like Spain. This is why I like the Philippines. It doesn't have this nonsense. Uh, okay, a lot of the locals will get tied up in it. Um, I mean, where I'm in Spain, Johnson Controls is just up the road and they're just another company similar to Carillion. So, it's very similar, they're all the same, same Muppet menta men mentality at senior management levels. Um, but at the same time, people also understand fam family. There's a big thing with family in Spain. It's a big thing with family in the Philippines. People have a stronger connection. In the UK, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near the same sort of level. Yes, they have the family issues relating to money. But at the same time, I would say the UK is probably got it worse because when somebody dies, people have got their bloody claws in trying to get their share of the uh, the death money. So give me the Philippines, give me Spain any day of the week. You can keep the UK. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'd rather not go back. Funny thing is, Leo, a friend of mine, I uh, spoke about before, um, he's actually now in Vietnam. Started, restarted his business in the Philippines and on his way to Korea in a couple of days. He's done this, he's just had enough of the UK and left. He, he ain't coming back. Um, and there's a lot of people like myself like that. I know Gordon, I don't think Gordon will be going back to the UK either. Right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.